Hello, I'm Dr. Todd Jackson, board certified ophthalmologist. Today we're going to be talking about pterygia. Let me go over this with you. So, pterygium comes from a Greek word meaning winged, and it was because of this winged tissue that grows onto the cornea. We think that there are three causes, at least, of pterygia. One is the sun or sun damage. Two is just your family history. And three are predisposition to these lesions. And then three is some sort of trauma. Dust, getting hit, other etiologies. The problem with pterygia is when that fleshy growth grows onto the cornea, the head of the pterygium, or underneath the head of the pterygium, it is scarring the cornea. When I remove the pterygia, I'm going to remove part of the scar as well. However, not all of the scar can be removed, hence leaving a permanent scar on the cornea, which can cause permanent vision loss. Years ago, the recommendation was not to take off the pterygium until it reached the center of the cornea, or almost the center of the cornea, I should say. And the reason was because the reoccurrence rate used to be 50%. Now, naturally, the reoccurrence rate using advanced techniques is about 10%. In our practice, it's about 1% will have recurrence. We use a technique out of Australia. The procedure itself takes about 10 minutes. There's no pain during the procedure. There is three days of discomfort after the surgery. You can return to work in five days. And the key to excellent outcomes is a surgery that's done well, coupled with using your medications afterwards. Let me explain the surgery. During the surgery, remove all of the abnormal tissue, not just the head, but also this body here. In addition, we undermine some of the abnormal tissue that's underneath the healthy skin of the eye. Then, we do what's called an autograph, harvesting your own skin of the eye, which has been protected underneath the upper eyelid, and then placing it here to prevent a recurrence. Thank you very much. I hope this was helpful.